Welcome back to Madden Masters, presented by the WSOE and brought to you by eStars. Play now for free at eStars.com. Dollar Shave Club, don't leave your grooming products to chance. And of course, by Progressive Insurance, visit progressive.com slash WSOE. We are here and getting ready to kick off match number one between Skimbo and Dubby, live from the Rio Las Vegas Hotel and Convention Center. Ready to go and kick things off. You guys see Dubby on screen right now, coming all the way from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, looking to maintain his two to one all time MCS lead over Skimbo, who of course is a good friend of his. They lab against each other, they practice against each other, and there you see Skimbo, the winningest player in MCS, the biggest earner in MCS on your screen, residing from Claremore, Oklahoma. We had a chance to learn a little bit more about Skimbo and what he does outside of Madden. My name is Michael Skimbo. I'm 27 years old, and I'm from Claremore, Oklahoma. Welcome to my hometown. When people hear Claremore, Oklahoma, they think small town, they think zebras, that's our mascot, they think of Will Rogers, they think of Michael Skimbo, obviously. Uh, but no, they, uh, they, they just see, you know, it's just a small town, real close knit, all that stuff, and it's just a really, you know, pretty chill place to live at. Growing up here, I was really involved in sports. I played every sport growing up. I played soccer, football, basketball, baseball, tennis. Everything you could play, I did. Athletics at Claremore is a really big deal, and there's a lot of fire that comes with it if you want to start and do that stuff. So I just kind of carried over my sports career to, I guess, a video game career. It's more common now, but three or four years ago, to tell your parents that you, know, you wanted to play Madden, and it didn't really go over so well at first, you know? Who, who wants to see their, you know, son, their son at the time just sit at home or, you know, just play a video game for hours and hours and hours? So they start winning and bring home these championship belts they give you and the money and being on ESPN, NFL Network, whatever, you know, their opinion changed pretty quickly. Finds him and it gets more! And Terrell Pryor! Some of the biggest influences in my life were the coaches I had and like I said, I've learned so much knowledge over my years, and you know, I just love trying to be there for those kids too. I wish I had someone that was really after me in high school, and that's kind of what I want to do for these kids, just be a good role model for them and just show them the ways on how to do things. What are you looking at, Jax? Yeah, that's right, you don't know what you're looking at, do you? I don't either when I look in the mirror. Picked off, picked off, picked off, picked off. You know, coaching baseball, it also keeps me competitive. You know, Madden keeps me competitive. I've always been a competitor. The, the feeling you get after winning a major tournament, there's no feeling like it. Laying in bed with that with that belt that they give you, and you're just sitting there thinking, like, you know, you did it, or you did it again. Like, here it is. Now, how are we gonna get another one? Back and Skip's talking to him. Oh, they're getting chirpy. I've traveled places I would have never traveled to. I've met people I would have never met, and it's all because of a video game. It really is all because of the game of Madden. And there it is. There is the belt. And there you have it, the game of Madden changing this man's life from Claremore, Oklahoma, small town, to the biggest city with the biggest lights in Las Vegas. He's getting ready to compete for his share of the money matches, $15,000 opportunity, and what a story that was. Yeah, I'll tell you, when I first met Skimbo a few years ago, we talked some coaching, and he at first didn't want his kids to know that he was a Madden competitor. And uh, going back to back in uh, classic championships is not the best way to keep that <laughs> secret. So he's got some of his biggest fans back home rooting for him today. Cats out of the bag. Well, big shout out to any baseball players tuning in from Claremore and supporting their coach, Skimbo. You see it on screen right there. $250,000 in career earnings from Madden, back-to-back -back championships. RG, is it safe to say that Skimbo is the most dominant player in Madden right now? Yeah, in the MCS era, you have to go with Skimbo. Just off of the data alone, nobody's won more championships than him, nobody's been to more final games than him, and nobody's won more money than him. And another thing to keep in mind going into this tournament is the last two years when we had a tournament which was in regs, which is where not in mud, the tournament that we're playing now, with regular teams play now, pick up the sticks and go, Michael Skimbo was the winner of both of those of events. So he's obviously finding himself in a situation where he's had a lot of success 
in recent years. That's a great point. The format for this tournament, of course, will be regular head-to-head. -head. Skimbo having the advantage, you guys say. Well, let's take that as a perfect transition here to predictions. Skimbo versus Dubby. Dubby's been grinding. He's been streaming quite often. Who do you guys think is going to have the upper hand? Guru, I'm going to start with you. Yeah, so, you know, I came in with the mentality of the Dubby's been streaming a lot lately. He's been in the lab lately, but we went out last night, uh, and Dubby was actually telling me that Skimbo was up labbing last night instead of out at dinner with us. So I changed my what was going to be a Dubby pick <laughs> over to Skimbo today. Oh, all right. Floating in the wind there with your predictions. I like the change, though. I like the adjustment. Got audible. Right. Yeah, got audible. RG, you can agree with him? Yeah, I was in a similar situation. I was thinking, man, I know Skim at this time of the year, he usually takes a break, gets ready for the next season because he's put in so much work during, you know, the regular season of the MCS. But then he finds out about this, and I was like, all right, is he going to be preparing? Dubby says, you know what? I'm thinking Skim's in tournament mode. As soon as I heard that, I said, I was going to go with you, Dubby, but I got to go with Skim. You can't pick against him when he's in tournament mode. I'm a guru on this one. I'm going Skim. All right, both RG and Guru are experts here picking Skimbo to win this one. You like to hear that. Truly a professional in Skimbo. As soon as he got the news of this tournament, started grinding, got back in tournament mode, and for $15,000, it's a, definitely not jump chain. He's looking to take this one home and bring all matches to victory here. Let's see if he can do it. Of course, Skimbo's gonna have to get through Dubby first. We did hear Dubby say that there's one person he wants to beat, it is Skimbo. He doesn't care if he loses his other two matches. He was saying that at dinner last yeah. night. We'll see if that's the reality, but it looks like our match is here and ready to get started. Match number one between Skimbo and Dubby. Take it away, gentlemen. Awesome, guys. We have Skimbo as the Kansas City Chiefs today and Dubby, of course, as the Philadelphia Eagles. My guy, RG, a little disappointed that Skimbo not out there in the, and representing the Patriots today. But a lot of weapons on this KC team between some very dynamic wide receivers and the cover boy for Madden 20, Patrick Mahomes, at the helm. Yeah, I asked Skim, I said, hey, why not go with the Patriots? He's playing with the Eagles. Get your boys out there. You know, Skimbo is a defendant, not this year, but in Madden um, 18 was the defendant New England Patriots club champion. And he said, you know what, gee, I've just never played with another team in regs other than the Chiefs. It's the team that I know, so that's what I'm going to go with. And, you know, that just shows he's taking it seriously. He's in it to win it. He, wa he wants to win this match and walk away with that 4K. And right away, we jump into the first quarter action here. Big oh! pass right off the bat. What a way to open the tournament here. Tyreek Hill in for the touchdown. That didn't take long, G. And he tries to, he always does this. He hits you with the, oh, I haven't really been playing. I've been taking a break. And then he comes out and he looks as sharp as ever. First play, touchdown. And Dubby hates to see it right there. I mean, that is the last thing you want to come do in, in opening up a game like this. Big play, big reception, great pitch and catch there by Skimbo. And like Fallout said before we got into the game, Dubby at dinner was like, I know he said, you know, I really don't want to lose the problem, but he said, if I could pick one game that i definitely win, it is the Skimbo matchup because he'll never hear the end of it. Skimbo, fully aware of Dubby's character, knows he'll never hear the end of it, responds with the touchdown first play. Play. Dubby, look at that look right there. He is not happy about that first play. Leaning forward, locked in, seeing if he can come back and tie things up here. Four minutes, 51 seconds, still left in the first quarter. Unbelievable first play to open up this tournament here for SOE at the Rio in Las Vegas. Guys, we're going to kick back in here with first and 10. 25-yard uh, line for our guy, Dubby. He's got uh, Ajayi in the backfield. Of course, Carson Wentz at the helm. Handoff to Ajayi on a counter play. Not much there for him. Yeah, and he'll be able to have a running back like Ajayi, even though he was injured during the regular season. In this version of Madden, when you're playing regs, you can use any of the players that were on the depth chart, whether they were on IR or not. So which is why you'll be able to see guys like Jay Ajayi out there in the backfield for the Eagles. Yeah, which is which is absolutely huge. So that was right away Ajayi uh, making his presence felt, but not much room there. The offensive line not giving him very much room. Uh, defensive line of Skimbo getting that penetration and making the stop. And we got on the 27-yard line, second and eight. Carson Wentz making the call. Ertz in motion. Jeffrey in motion. All these adjustments, you can hear the clicking of the controllers behind us. Uh, that is some high-level Madden. It's always impressive to me how many pre-play adjustments these guys can make in a short amount of time. 
Wentz over the middle. Laser. Nice laser throw to Golden Tate for a nice pickup, getting all the way out to the 48-yard line for a first and 10. Yeah, and when you talk about these adjustments, I've gotten to look at that data. On defense, these guys are averaging anywhere between five to seven adjustments per play. And when we're talking about adjustments, you can do all types of things at Madden. You can shift your line. You can stunt them. You can shift those linebackers. You can individually switch each defensive player's assignment. You see he's moving guys around, putting them in specific places. Um, they're compressed. You can back off. There's all kinds of adjustments and chess match that goes on pre-play. We talked about W's strengths and his ability to read the defense, make adjustments on the fly. We're seeing plenty of that so far. Great penetration by the Chiefs and Skimbo to knock down and deflect that pass by W. Uh, second down and 10. You see Skim, he's hydrated on that Burba Mai Tai. Mati. And this stuff is good. They got the cranberry pomegranate sparkling drink. Yeah, you were telling and, uh, me that's pretty glitchy. Yeah, we've been pounding these. Me, me and Skin, we tried it before the match, and he, we were feeling it, man. It, it's a good drink. So far, it's worked for Skimbo out with the big Oh, play. Dobson! Squeezes it in the traffic right there to Aguilar, who makes the catch and pick up all the way down to the 25-yard line. That's a big first down for Dubby. And you know what's cool about this school is these guys are so seasoned. They're so experienced. They've been in all types of situations, but I don't know if they've ever been in this specific situation where you're just playing a five grand money match against someone you're very familiar with, winner take all. This is a very unique thing that we've never seen in competitive Madden, and I, for one, think it's amazing. No belts today, just bread, RG. Each one of these matches worth 5K. 1K to the loser and four straight right into the pocket of the winner today. You get Guap just for showing up, and here comes Dub. Ajayi getting that first down. Nice little hole through the uh, line of scrimmage right there. Picks it up, gets it down to the 15-yard line for a first and 10. We got hurry up offense, I think, coming back to the line here. No, they're at the play call okay. screen. They're picking, he's picking the play, slowing it down. And if you dub it, you probably do want to slow this game down. Skimbo has a very explosive offense with these Kansas City Chiefs. You're going to want to limit his possessions, and I like seeing this from W. Just get out there, get that physical football, as he likes to say. He's big on physicality on the virtual gridiron so you get in a grown man formation in that eye big pound the rock milk this clock and you see the physicality making its debut with the needed shirt lineup there today from dubby and it's going to take physicality in this lineup here uh, between these guys the capping is starting already back there i can see the chirping happening already we've got the guys mic'd up there for you so we're gonna we're gonna pop in maybe here a few times through the game when that chirping starts to pick up but ajayi making his way again through the line of scrimmage here trying to pick up that first down no dice third and one here from the six yard line that's that eye big formation i call it a grown man formation in football they'll call it a 22 formation because that means it has two tight ends and two running backs in the backfield and that's the type of formation you're going to want to go to if you just want to pound the rock get physical and that's exactly what dubby's doing right now with these philadelphia eagles which isn't a terrible strategy seen as they have one of the best offensive lines in the game when you're playing in this default regs mode yeah, here in the red zone, W trying to knot it all up here in the first quarter. We got the first quarter closing out one minute and 23 seconds to go. TikTok uh, clock running. Jai makes it through for a touchdown, punches it in for six. And W's letting him hear it. <laughs> and W looks over to him and he says, he might not like the eye form. Skim used to playing these gun bunches. Everyone airing it out. W comes out in some grown man. Hard grit football and good old blue collar football. I tell you what, guys, let's go in and check those mics now and listen in on the guys capping at each other. <laughs> Seeing those half back dives. No problem getting ideas. Prob over there salivating. Prob said, I know what I'm running. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, said so the game played different offline. The game played different offline. Touch him, touch him, that's all, just touch him. Just touch him. Hey, 
All right, guys, we are joining the action here. We knew this was going to be a cap match. Half of this game was going to be the mental aspect. These guys, good friends, they know each other's buttons and how to push them right there. Dubby coming out with that blue collar football, eye form on him and punching it in for touchdown. Big pass down the sideline. Tyreek Hill picks it up. Five, ten, touchdown. Another big TD by Tyreek Hill. <laughs> Skim just looks up at me. He does the smirk. Dubby shaking his head. He's not failing it. Unbelievable, guys. We got two big plays to kick this game off in the first quarter. Looking at this score already. Skimbo about to make it 14 to 7 here. And you heard Dubby when we checked in. He said it feels different offline. So remember, guys, these guys are playing a couch play style game. They have their own monitors, but it's like if you picked up and played your friend on the couch. So what that means, Goo, is it's a little different than online play. You can't just pull up your play art, for example, because your opponent's going to be able to see it in an offline match, where online you can do that all day long. You can see exactly what formation your opponent's coming out in. So these are some of the minor adjustments these guys have to make in a a match of this, uh, you know, with this rule set. With Dubby being prideful of his adjustments, though, nothing that he can't adjust to here. Looking to do it on this drive to put some more points on the board here in the first half. Again, we got Carson Wentz under the center, back in shotgun formation, handing off to Jai, finding a little bit of room out there, getting, uh, picking up about two yards. Dubby showing some of that old man stick right there. He had a little bit of a hole that he could have got through. Scraped up against the tackle in the DN. Hey, I want to give a big a yard game. I want I'm a big shout out guy G. You know me. I want to give a big shout out to the chat out there. Absolutely on fire in here since before the broadcast. Great support from our community as always out there guys. This is a big opportunity today for Madden and Madden competitive. Thank you so much for your support. Ooh, let me pull it in. Let me do this. Hey, Chad, it, 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 you know, let's show a lot of love to our guys here at WSOE. If you're looking for them to get into more events like this and we want to see more of this up in Madden 20, pop a one in the chat for them. Let, let them show, let them see how much we want to support this type of event. Thank you guys for showing up. Certainly follow WSOE here on Twitch. Yes. That's the big one. Go up there and pop that follow right now, guys. This support that you give this late season, in, this late in the season to Madden 19 can only mean bigger things for Madden, for these competitors in the future. So remember how much your support means to the future of Madden and competitive Madden. It's a, it's a big deal, guys. It's, up, it's A lot of it is in your hands. So thank you guys for the support thus far. Guys, we're kicking off the second quarter here. 14 to 7 game. Who would have thought we would have had two big plays right off the bat like that, G? With, with Skimbo, th this is what we've come to know from him when he plays with the Kansas City Chiefs. Tyreek Hill is going to be a threat on that field. It's almost like you have to give up all the underneath stuff early on in the drive because if you don't, Tyreek Hill's just going to bomb you over the top. You have to be willing to give up some of that short stuff protect deep down the field and then you can get a little more creative once Dubby gets into the once Skimbo gets into the red zone. It's also nice to have that cannon arm which is Pat Mahomes Dubby. right there going up high point catch by Jeffrey able to haul it down a little bit of traffic there. Very nice play by Dubby finding the open portion of the field first down and 10 from the 24 yard line will continue to tick through the first part of the second quarter. It's a familiar formation you see from Dubby that gun trio. Offset. It's been a formation he's been running for several years now. Has all his reads down pat out of it. And here he goes back in this 22 personnel. I love it, G. This is some Midwest blue collar football here in the I form with Ajayi in the backfield. We got a real deal fullback in the backfield there. Not too much of that in the NFL these days. We got Jeffrey in motion coming around to try and throw a block for Ajayi, but he misses the block. Hits Ajayi right up the middle there for a little bit of room. A couple more yards for the drive there. Second down and eight. I mean, you're wearing a physicality shirt. You might as well get into a 22 personnel and play punch him in the mouth football. That's what Dubby's doing right here. And he would really like to be able to score a touchdown here. If he has to settle for three, Skimble's going to get the ball back with enough time in this half to put a drive together, potentially score another touchdown, and go up two possessions. And that's just not where you want to be when you're going up against players. And this caliber and Skim almost clicks on. Justin Houston able to go up there and get that bat down at the line of scrimmage. 
Third down and eight. Not able to get that over there. I think he had a wide open receiver down the lane there. Skim, pretty happy, looking like he got that uh, deflection. Skim, he's in it. He wants to make this 12K. You win all three of these matches today. You walk away with $12,000. Dubby not making it easy for him. Enough for the first down right there. <laughs> Dubby happy about that one. Getting that first down in 10 here. We got the clock ticking into the second quarter here. And, and you know what? That was a lot of people have gotten away from the curl flat play, which is just a normal concept yep. you see in football. Your outside receiver runs a curl. You get somebody in the flat. Somebody's going to be open. That's just a very strong concept that Dubby has utilized all season, and you don't see enough players utilize that, especially in the red zone where you can't stretch the field and things get more stingy. Dubby just keeps coming back out in this formation. It looks like uh, Skim's having a couple, a little bit of issue adjusting to this running and this uh, ISO up the oh, top. Breaks away. Ajayi just some tough running skills right there. Nice stop by Skim to save the touchdown there on the six yard line. Touchdown saving tackle. <laughs> Look at that face. He's so relaxed up there. Just playing a casual game of Madden for, you know, 5,000 on the line, really 4,000. Casual game of Madden and in Las Vegas at the Rio. You know, no big deal. No big deal. And how about this? The cool situation is these guys didn't have to qualify to get here. They made it here straight off their credentials alone. It's the Madden Masters. They truly brought in some of the masters of the game. And now they get this opportunity where you couldn't even win a game. You may not even win a game, and you still walk away with three rack of roos. Yeah, it's, it's what a format here. Like we've said, nothing we've ever seen like this in Madden before. Who's Every passing? Yeah, he's got some good protection here. Carson actually slips away there for a couple yards. I think pretty smart move. We're going to go ahead and take I'm sure W will take a few yard gain with Carson over an interception in this situation. I think Skim smartly calls a timeout, Goo, to stop that clock, right? Doesn't let W just drain it to the two minute warning. Yeah, W promised to be very stingy with that clock today. He came in with that mindset. He's just going to hog that ball and get out of here with some money today. That was, a, that was a good shot of Skim right there by the production team. You see the focus of Mike Skim, but W doesn't seem to care. Going up, Ertz going up big, coming down with that high point catch. W. Getting back on the board. Nice drive down there. Long drive. Again, doing what he said that he was coming in to do and hog that ball. And some of our casual users, they say, Goo, one of their favorite things is when they tune in, they get to learn about the game and little strategies. For you that don't know, and I know our core community is going to roast me for this one, if you want to know how to use that high ball mechanic that Dubby just used right there that allow him to put some extra arc on the ball, throw it over to the defender, you simply just hold the L1 button as you're throwing to the receiver, and that's just going to put a little extra arc on the pass. It's going to increase the chance of an inaccurate pass, but it really gives you those my guy or no guy type of throws, and if that's not a mechanic you're utilizing, you're not doing it right. You better go and learn how to use that high ball, especially in the red zone. Again, just hold that LB mechanic when you're throwing to a receiver. Wait, the community roast you for something? That never happens, bro. Never. They would never do They that. usually take it easy on me. I, I, I get away pretty cleanly sometimes. But yeah, the GOAT. Every, the GOAT RG up every here. Every now and then. Yeah, talk about the cloud. Talk about the creds. RG, what a pleasure to be up here with you, man. A long time. Been wanting to get on the desk with you, dude. We've known each other for years. It's been a long time coming, man. I'm telling you, I am so humbled and honored to be up here with you. What a hit stick. Did he pop up the ball there? Able to hold on to the ball. Unbelievable. Great hit stick right there. And that is the physicality right there that Dubby's talking about. And for those that don't know what I'm talking when I say physicality, the definition on Dubby's shirt, it's the involvement of a lot of bodily contact or activity. <laughs> Definitely a lot of contact right there on that play by those Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, so one uh, tight end we haven't seen here too much this game there, Kelsey. We'll see if Skimbo starts going to one of the best and most dynamic tight ends in the league there in Travis Kelsey. He ain't had to go to nobody else but Tyreek Hill bomb him for touchdowns. But here comes a big third and seven right here. If you're dubbed, this is how you can start to get some momentum. For Skimbo into a fourth down situation. Put the pressure on Skim right here with one timeout left, two-minute warning. 
See how Skim runs this two-minute drill with one timeout. And you see the quarterback gesture, and that's Skimble making all kinds of hot well, routes. I don't right think it matters. matters. Whoa, lucky to get that out right there and be able to take that back up to the line of scrimmage. Very lucky to get that out and not take the sack. Oh, and W lets him have it. Skimbo adjusting at the line of scrimmage, doing his best Peyton Manning impression, audible and around, hot routing his receiver, slide and protection, but Dubby sends a blitz right up to A-gap. And quarterback, meat tastes sweet. And Dubby's defense had sweet tooth. Absolutely no fear right there by Dubby coming right through the A-gap. Mahomes with a little bit of feet able to get away and get rid of that ball before taking the sack, though. We're back at the line of scrimmage here. Mahomes rolling out to the right under pressure. Oh, oh my God, we got P.I. Tone the physicality down, Dub. Jeez. Oh, my Lord. You never see that. He's not even in his seat. Dubby got off the stage. Unbelievable. We were Good literally shot. talking about P.I. before the game today. Did we not talk about P.I.? And there is the example here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Too physical, bro. Skimbo's loving it. <laughs> he's, thank you for those free yards he's saying over there. Thank you, Dubby. Oh, that's got to be frustrating. You get the offensive guru, Mike Skim, into a fourth and seven. He makes a bad read, and you just bail him out. You get a little too physical, Dubby. That's going to help that two-minute drive indeed again, Mahomes. Holmes dropping back here with Kelsey on that crosser, unable to bring it in, and heavy traffic there from Dubs D. Oh, when the physicality goes wrong, man. <laughs> oh, you know all his followers. You know, Dubby streams on Twitch often. He's got a decent following, a big ambassador for the Madden community. They're going to roast him over that one. Yeah, I tell you, we talked about that here a little bit yesterday. All of these guys being community leaders out there, each of them leading their community in their own way. Dubby out there on the Twitch grind right now. Little pass out to Kelsey again. Uh, Skim says, if you're going to give it to me, I'm going to go ahead and just do it again right there. Yeah, and WSOE really did did a phenomenal job of bringing great guys to this event. We got four of the best in the community, Goo, and I'll tell you what, it really is. It's hard not to root for any of these guys. You want to root for all of them. They're all just such good people, such good players, and such good ambassadors for our young eSport. You know, they, we talked last night, and they said there, you know, there may be rivalries. There may be heated rivalries, but there are no bitter rivalries anymore. All of these guys, all of well us said. have been around uh, each other so wrong. It's become such a brotherhood in the past year <laughs> dubby dubby liking what he's seeing right now with skimbo on a fourth and one one minute that was well said Guru. Go. absolutely there's rivalries but no bitter rival bitter rivalries we're a family we're a community and we look forward to watching this all grow together yeah, guys, and again, we can't do that without your support. So it means so much for you to be out here today in the chat, chopping it up out there, supporting the Madden community and the future of Madden. Big fourth down here this by Skimbo. Huge. It's a momentum play here, go. Going into the half, if he can strike here, going to be big. Oh, my Lord, the physicality coming back for Dubby. Oh, Dubby's out of his seat. He's letting him have it. First and 10 for Dub. He's going to want to put some points on the board before we go into the half here from that momentum switch we talked about. And, and you got to love it, that gritty Philadelphia mentality. They're good friends. They talk on a regular basis, but as soon as the game starts, we got problems, and Dubby's letting Skimbo know about it. It's all good after the game, but for now, Dubby's bringing the heat. No friends during the match of Madden. No friends at all. But I'll tell you what, we were so excited coming in today and knowing that it was going to be Dubby and Skim right off the bat. Unbelievable. When I got the call and I heard the field that we were going to come to call, a little bit on what you were saying, I just couldn't believe what was happening. These four faces facing off in each other, all on a Skins type um, setup, taking home the money today. It's, uh, it's going to be a wild day, guys. And it has already started off with a bang. I'll tell you what, guys, let's go back to those competitor mics a little bit here. Dubby trying to get that momentum, trying to get in Skimbo's head. Skimbo, notorious, though, for being cool under pressure, cool under cap. Let's take a listen. I get it back. I get it. Dominating this game. Dominating this game. That didn't work, man. I'm dominating this game. Deshaun, 
Guys, coming back here, 30 seconds left. That strip ball there doesn't make Dubby happy. He was on a mission to put some more points on the board before this half. 32 seconds left in the first half of our first game here at WSOE in Las Vegas at the Rio. Ooh. Ooh, Conley able to bring it down, but Dubby with that physicality, big old hit stick and that glare across the desk. Hits him with the punch him in the mouth after he hits him with a hip stick. And anyone that played high school football growing up, if you never heard your coach say punch him in the mouth, you didn't play football. Yeah, you didn't play no high school football. I was able to coach a couple of little league teams, and I, I've said it a few times myself, my friend. Not, Kelly, li not little league, coach. He's a 13 year old, bro. You got to start him young. You got to wait till high you school before you start young, punching bro. people in the mouth, man. Teenage, teenage on. No prisoners. Savage. Savage. <laughs> Start him young, bro. It's a situation here. Put a physicality t-shirt on him. And again, guys, these guys are good friends, and they know each other's buttons. They're going back and forth. Awesome backdrop there. Tell you what, this venue today, being here with WSOE, unbelievable experience. All the video work, all of the camera work, total professional job here today. Oh, yeah, truly unbelievable. Some of those pieces that we saw at the top of the show, the one on skim, interviewing players, seeing how this amazing WSOE ball with all their faces on it got made. I mean... Production value has been phenomenal. It's just, it's just, I, th I feel like this is just, you know, the tip of the iceberg with these guys go. I tell you what, though, as delivered, as predicted, what a game so far. What a half to kick it off here. Um, 17 to 14 as we click down here to the half. One second. Probably going to see a uh, see of Dubby. I don't know. What do you think he's going to toss it up or play it safe? Maybe just run the ball. Nope. I mean, we're in Vegas. <laughs> you don't play it safe when you're in Vegas. Let's go. It does go down, and that is going to send it to halftime here. What, again, like delivered right away. Man, unbelievable. I'll tell you what, though, we are going to head over here to the locker room and throw it to our guy, Fallout, for some player reactions in the locker room. What do you think about that matchup, though? Thanks so much, guys. And we're, we're live. We're here right now with my man, Dubby. And I gotta ask you, man, look, usually we interview the, the winner at halftime, but I gotta give you a chance to defend your, the, the leader, sorry. I gotta give you a chance to defend yourself. He knows that pass interference, man, what, what happened? Break it down. First of all, it was a bag. If anybody watched the perfect defense, right? And he threw to the receiver where he was so covered that you couldn't see my defender was all over him. So I hold X to swat it because it's fourth down. You don't want an interception. You want to get that field position from him going for fourth down in his own territory. Forgetting a fourth down was childish to begin with. So he was stuck on fourth down. I go for the swat. But, my, you know, my t I gave him a good pep talk early. I said, you guys got to get physical, take somebody's head off. And that's what he did. You, you gave know? the so defense a pep talk? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm not mad at a play like that. When somebody leave, puts everything out there on the line, I like that. That's the energy we had to bring. And as you saw the rest again we brought that in the first half i felt like i thoroughly dominated this game but i'm down three points but he doesn't like the eye form he doesn't like old school football you know he wants to throw the ball around sometimes you just you know put a little put a little dirt on your elbows and go play some real football and that's what we're going to do in the second half there you have of course you have a little bit of history with skimbo what can we expect from you coming into the second half though i got a lot of history with skimbo let me tell you this is my good friend right there we once, we, we were teammates, you know? He joined my gang, we were needed gaming, you know? Then he sold out for the fame and the money, and now he wears a pink jersey and looks like a Power Ranger, you know? So he's definitely changed, but it's still my friend. It's always fun competing against him. There you have it from W himself. That's gonna be it for us here. We're gonna take a very quick break. When we come back, <laughs> we got a heated second match here. W put on the show alongside Skimbo. Don't go anywhere, guys. I love it. Hey, hey, I love it. Thank you. But I would, uh, no, I'm not sure going.
gentlemen, welcome back to Madden Masters presented by WSOE, where we got a close one. Skimbo up 17 over W's 14 and in an entertaining first half. That's for sure, isn't it? You know, I've said it a few times here, but as delivered, like we were so excited when we heard this first match was to kick it off the whole day today. <laughs> and it has not it has not disappointed. Yeah, of course, first half did not disappoint. The second half is going to be even better. It looks like the players are ready to go and to continue right where we left off with the second half here. Skimbo versus Dubby. Gentlemen, are you ready for this one? Oh, absolutely. Let's rock. I think it looks like Let's the game's going to get going here. Let's Seven. rock. We're live, baby. <laughs> Knickknack patty <-wack. laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Popping right back into the third quarter, kicking things off. Skimbo kicking off the Dubby. Dubby down by three, but says he is in total control and has dominated that first half, so his head's in the right place. Well, he, he was in total control. I mean, he was marching down the field to go and try to take the lead at the end of the first half while getting the ball at the second half. Skimbo made that huge strip fumble, turned it into three points of his own, so that was a critical play in this game. Let's see how Dubby can respond to that to open up the second half. Will he be able to get the momentum back? Yeah, we had a first half of heavyweights trading blows at the 50-yard line. Very physical first half. Looking for that to continue throughout the second half here. Dubby taking possession on the 26-yard line. Let's see what he does. And if he comes back out in that blue-collar eye form that he's been so dominant with so far. He had to love Dubby's interview with Fallout at halftime where he wasn't even mad at the P.I. He's like, my guy was playing physical. I'm cool with it. <laughs> I was pep talking. It. Oh, it was so good. Again, good these stuff. guys locked up as friends, but still not friends right now in the middle of Madden. Looking to take home that bread. Again, 4K to the winner, 1K to the guy that is not the winner. We'll call it that way because none of these guys are losers today in the format and with their history. I mean, how cool is that? You get your Madden pedigree to a point where they say, hey, we're going to fly you out to Vegas. We're going to put you up for a few days you just play three games of madden even if you lose all three we'll still hit you with three racks carson wentz plenty of time back there great protection Dog. able to go oh, streak right up the middle by car uh, by Ertz right there able to haul it in all the way down at the 33 yard line they'll be very happy with that call and that read yeah and this gun why off trio I mean, this has been Dubby's bread and butter for several years right now he's one of the best at running this formation he's very comfortable can run the ball with the inside zone. He's got, gets his tight end involved. You gotta watch out for Jeffrey in the slot on that deep cross. He has a post that can come from the backside. A lot of weapons on the Eagles offense here. Motion to the right, Aguilar with that pulls down the uh, nice catch there and able to spin all the way to the 18 yard line for Dubby. And you know, if you're a beginner user and you're seeing these guys' strategy, one thing that's a staple in most players' offenses is they'll send multiple players vertical to clear out that defense, but you make sure you have a drag underneath and you gotta be willing to dump down to that drag and make it work. You can't just get it all in one play. Drag's the best route to do that with. Skim takes it away right here though. Rolling right, Carson Wentz with some wheels. They're able to get it out before the defense makes it to him, though. Throws it out of bounds, saving the possession. And ten, second and 10 now, 18-yard line. Just kicking off this second half. If you're just joining us right now, we've got Skimbo up 17-14 to 14 over Dubby. Dubby playing a solid game and on the drive right now, though. Carson Wentz making those calls back there. Uh, play action, dropping back plenty of time. High point pass to Ertz, not able to bring it down in double coverage. Yeah, that's a bad read by Dubson. Skimbo went with the vertical that time, left the drag open, but he took the drag away the play before, so Dubby thinking he was going to go up top. Skim ready for it. Now Dubby with a big third and ten here because if he doesn't get this first down, he likely has to kick that field goal to tie the ball game. So this is a big play right here for both these players. If you skim, you really need to stop right here. Dubby coming off of that halftime interview really wants to put seven on the ball oh, right here. Oh, bad read. Unbelievable. Into two, double coverage again to Ertz. High point catch, not able to come up with a big hit. Pops the ball out. Fourth and ten now. What are we going to see here? Field goal, or are we going to see on this Vegas stage? Oh, there's the field goal unit. Yeah, no, Ans question answered. Definitely a field goal. You got to tie the ball game, especially against a guy like Skim. I just like that look Skim was giving Dubby after that read. Just. Come on, W, you're better than that. Hey, that's 55 yards back across the field on the wrong shoulder. You don't see that too much from a guy like W. Puts it up, knocks it down. 17 to 17 here with three minutes left in the third quarter. W kicking it off deep, no chance for a return. Skim's gonna bring it out to the 25. 
I'll tell you what, Guru, the first game of the day, I mean, who would have, you, you want to start off with that W, guarantee yourself the four racks, you know what I mean? It's a good way to start the day, you know, especially here in Vegas, you wake up, you get four racks off rip. You put you a little bit right under the belt right away right there, and uh, I'll tell you what, you can kick back a little bit. These guys, not used to kicking back, though, I'm sure, even though they put something in their pocket, we're going to see a full day of great competition here. But talk about take off the pressure. You had four to the pocket in your first game. Rest of the day is a cakewalk. And I'll tell you, Goo, I, I try not to be a jealous person. I'm happy for a lot of people when good things happen to them. But when I found out about this format and what WSOE was doing with this, I was just so, I was like, man, where was this when I was playing? What, what an opportunity, man. Like, amazing. And if, they, you know, and you have to wonder if they're doing something like this at Madden 19 with Madden 20 around the corner, you figure if the community supports and they like what they see, there could just be more opportunities in the future. Who knows? But guys, you know, we got to make an impression on WSOE bright, here. That's it, man. I mean, if they're willing, like you said, for the support this late in the season for Madden 19, I can only imagine. What's come from Adam Twain? Wide open, down the right side of the field. Ooh. Tyreek Hill, huge pickup from that gun that is Pat Mahomes' right arm. That's a huge play for Skim. Gets him in field goal range. And real quick, Goo, just to give some of the credentials of WSOE, I mean, these. this is a company that's been involved with some of the most major esports. They've done events with Dota 2, Rocket League, Fortnite, Hearthstone. These are some of the biggest games out there. So for Madden to now be in that conversation as well, it's just a true honor and a true testament to how how rapid this community is growing. Yeah, what a production, what a stage, uh, what a bunch of competitors. We can definitely, as a community, hold our head high being here today. Ooh, nowhere to go for Skim. And you know, you'll notice this go throughout the day. These best players, they're not gonna force any passes downfield. It's not like playing your little brother where, oh, nothing's open, just he just chuck it up. No, these guys, they're gonna live to fight another down. So what he did right there was simply threw the ball away, and you do that by clicking in that right stick, quarterback throws the ball away it's what you need to do if nothing's open and there's nowhere to go throw away better than an interception all day every day again just click in the right stick if you ever want to do that bad boy lots of good coverage down the hill oh, oh. Dodrick. hill came over in the open there at the last second for a touchdown great coverage right until the last second broke down Tyreek Hill in for another touchdown. Skimbo up 23 to 17. Oh man, this ain't a league of their own, but you can call him Dotty. <laughs> that was a sweet right in the corner of the end zone. Well, well, to get that reference, what do you got to be? At least like 28 years it, old, maybe? You, <laughs> I don't think that anyone in the chat is going to get that one, but us here together, we know what it's about. <laughs> that was a dot by Skim. Immediately forced W to put his face in his hand and. Yeah, these guys are both in a league of their own right now. This is a great first match to kick off the day today. De certainly delivering 24 to 17. Skimbo up now with one minute and 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Kickoff back in the end zone. Bring it on out to the 25. The scary drive right here for W. Goo. If Skim would be able to get a stop, just go down, get himself a field goal, milk some clock, make it two possessions, it, it, it could be lights out for Dubson. So. If you're Dubby, there's some pressure on you on this drive, and he knows it. He needs to perform here. Yeah, he want, if he's going to stick by that ball hog mentality, he's going to do a nice, slow drive down the field here and put some points on the board. And, you know, the problem with Skim's defense is with these Chiefs, they don't really have any goons or Grizzlies. Uh, you know, the Eagles, they got goons and Malcolm Jenkins. They got Grizzlies and Fletcher Cox. D-line. Yeah, Grant, I mean, but with the Chiefs, besides Houston and Jones, you don't really got much you're working with out there. Carson with plenty of time again back there, putting that high point pass out for Ertz, which is able to bring it down this time to the 40 yard, 42 yard line. First down and 10 for Dubby. Nice little pitch and catch right there. You do got to credit Dubby for him to go out there and with big money on the line, play with his favorite team, represent the Philadelphia Eagles. I admire that. You know, unlike some competitors out there playing with KC instead of their beloved Patriots. RG just got to shake his head. I right mean, there. it just shows you, you, you expect it. You've come to expect it from Skim. He's the professional. He takes it as a business. He, he's not messing around. The guap's on the line. You're going to get his 100%. You know, you may feel this is like an exhibition match with the invitational um, invitational way that they have set it up, but you have got to remember $5,000 on the line for each one of these matches. So these guys leaning forward and locked in. Real quick, 
too good. I didn't like how my dude Dub was taking a shot at my guy Skimbo's Lazarus jersey right there. <laughs> Skim, you know, there's a pro player. He's sponsored by Lazarus Game, and they got a good relationship. They take good care of him. And yeah, he's I, always out there representing them the right way, doing it. I doing think it Dubby well. thought that was a dig, but then the whole chat is like, yo, the Pink Ranger was awesome. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, I think that one backfired a little bit. Awesome, though, that these guys can go out and get those big-time sponsorships, that they can wear these jerseys out there, and that they can represent that their, their teams. It's amazing seeing these guys get opportunities through the years. We got the fourth quarter about to kick off here again. Let's just uh, recap 24 to 17. We got Skimbo in the lead. Second and 12 here for Dubby in possession. Going to try and make a long drive here in the fourth quarter. Take a lot of this clock. And the pressure, though, is on Dubby right now to make a play. Ooh, yeah, Adam just couldn't hold on to it. A little too much contact at the point of the catch. A long third and 12 here for Dubby. He's got, got to turn this one if he's going to put some points on the board here soon. Here's the thing. It just can't be all physicality. At some point, you need some finesse. Again, nice protection for Carson Wentz. Oh, there. that's oh, a book. off. Unbelievable there. Skandrick able to get in front of Golden Tate. Ripping that one off. Skim, that is the last thing that needed to happen for W right there. Skim going to be in control, full control, and put some more points up. And you see it. It's Skim. He's sipping on this Yerba drink. It's good stuff, Go. I think it's it that uh, the cranberry pomegranate might be doing a little I, something for the game right no, now. I haven't tried. They have a variety of flavors, but I've stuck with the cranberry pomegranate. It hits so well. I don't need nothing else. Watch it. If it's not broke, fix it. You were right off the bat. You know what pick. I'm saying? It's like when you got your burger spot. You got a good burger. You just go get your burger there. Like, why? I gotta go anywhere else. So, are you five guys in and out? What are, what are you, by the way? I just gotta know who I'm on the desk with up here. Uh, you know, the one that I really like, if I'm gonna go to like a chain, I, I usually like local spots, but if I really, really like, I like Shake Shack. I'm, bro, excellent. We they got a good burger, man. The good cheese fries. Are, uh, you and I, hearts of the same mind yeah, when man. it comes to burgers, right there, my friend. High level burgers from the shack. This is a big drive here, Goose. Skim, like we talked about, Skim, he just needed to get the stop. And now he's got Dubby's back really against the ropes because he's just going to take his time. He's going to milk that clock. And he just needs to get in field goal range so he can make this two possessions. Oh, he's got him again. Unbelievable. Pop, popping it over the top there. Tyreek Hill for his fourth touchdown of the day. That deep coverage just lacking from our guy W today. The thing is, you just can't play a cover two with that much room on the field and Tyreek Hill, he's going to get past that flat zone and he's too fast. The safety's just not getting over there in time. It's literally real NFL stuff right there when you have to pay, pay special attention to a playmaker like Hill with that speed that can just pop you right over the top for a big play any down. Yeah, a lot of Madden players don't realize that sometimes the people, the personnel that your opponent has dictates a way that you should play. For me, if I'm playing the Kansas City Chiefs, again, I don't mind. I understand that I'm going to have to give up a few first downs if you execute correctly just to make sure you don't get those one-play touchdowns. And then you got to try to lock up in the red zone. Oh, Dubson would have overthrow. Unable to make the catch there, just sailing over the receiver's head. Nice block pickup in the backfield to give him enough time to get it out, though. Oh, man, what do you got, Dubby? It's looking rough for him. What do you guys think in the chat? Does Dubby get a win today? Did you pick Dub today at all? I don't know. I don't we'll, want we'll to get, I don't give away my picks. My guy Dubby's got to come away with the dub today. I'm not used to making picks. They usually, I usually don't make any picks, but I'm with it here at the WSOE. Nice, nice pass down the middle right there to Jeffrey, able to haul it in for a big gain down at the 40-yard line. First and 10 for Dubby. He has got to put on some uh, points right now. Here's the thing about playing head-to-head -head right now and the strategy that goes in it. We're not playing Mutt Unlimited out here today. We don't have a bunch of 99-rated players running around the field. So there are certain gaps. There are certain holes. you got to make sure are covered. Certain weaknesses on these defenses that say Tyreek Hill can take full advantage of. What a dump right in the hands of Smith right there. Ajayi, the last player to try and see the touchdown. Thank you. Wiggle sticks up right here by Skimbo. And see, this is where I would have loved for us to incorporate a rule if you beat your opponent by 21 points or more, you should just get the whole five grand. The whole bread, the whole you five should get K. the whole five racks. 
I think, you know, Dubby might even just just out of four for the whole sake of it, just hand it over. No, he won't. <laughs> I know he, he won't. won't. But that's just I a suggestion to the future. If you get blown out, you get no Guala. That's uh, uh, it's pretty solid. There's no tanking. There's no tanking at the end of the game. We're going to fight it all the way out. We got Pat Mahomes. Oh, oh with the physicality. Fumble. There wow. it is. Arm coming for, uh, not coming forward there, getting it on the backstroke and out for the fumble. Very nice turnover there for Dubby and what he needed after going down 31 to 17 right there. No, he didn't get the turnover. Oh, it looked like the turnover. No, no, he's still in deep oh, water. Man, he had a chance. And what do we do? What do the competitors do when they're in deep water? No, the, the saying in Madden is, what do you do when you see a man drowning? You throw water on him. And right now, Skimbo looking to throw water all over Dubby. Just taking his time. Not going to make a bad read right now. Hoping to just take this one home with the, uh, the lead and momentum he has now. Things have gotten a little quieter over there here from uh, the Dubby side of the desk. You know, one thing I love at that, those desks that they're, they're playing at is those custom Madden cleats go. I, I think we got a shot of those at, on the opening, but that's a nice, I mean, some of the decor here. Yeah, on I've this been, set is, I just, I've been blown away. I've been eyeing up those cleats uh, past few days. Also, these competitor footballs with the cartoon version of each of our competitors on them. Unbelievable. This, just the whole set. Yeah, there they are. Look at those, Goo. That, that's, that's, that's a nice pair of cleats. And you, you didn't get a great look of it right there, but there's a lot of custom artwork going on. I mean, when I saw those, I was blown away. I mean, if I could put a bid in or something, I was going to say, if those end up me. disappearing, you might know who to call. I'll pay. <laughs> 34 to 17 here. Skimbo at the kickoff, looking to just ride this lead out to the end of this first exhibition game we have out here. Or, uh, not exhibition. We got the money on the line here in Rio, there in Las are. Vegas. Yeah, those are nice sweet, shot. Man. Good work by the production team there in the back. Just the level of the camera work and the production, all of our, our video pieces today, absolutely high level from WOSE today. And the penetration makes it. Carson just goes down, face in the dirt, grass in the helmet. Not what W needs right now. Skim just in full control, feeling good right now, laughing and smiling over there. I think you can feel that, feel that uh, stack of money in the pocket right now. Four grand to start the day. Not a bad start. Oh, really? man, that's just heater off the side there. Skim just relentless with his defense right now. I'm telling you, it's the Yerba. <laughs> the, Yerba, the Yerba might be glitchy when you're gaming. <laughs> the cranberry and pomegranate just uh, setting him off right now, bro. It's low calories, too. It's only 70 calories on the thing, and it tastes good. Yo, Yerba, you got to reach out to my guy, RG, man. Get, him, get you, his face on the can. And here's the you. thing. You know with me. I don't just say, like, I got to really like the joint. It's got to be glitchy for you to be talking. I it's know. good stuff. I, if it wasn't, I wouldn't be saying it. I'd just avoid the whole conversation. Almost down to the two-minute warning here. Dubby probably going to just let it get down to the two-minute warning. A little free timeout there, his fourth timeout. Both guys with all of their timeouts on the board here, though. 34 to 17, Skimbo up big in this fourth and 11. At that two-minute warning. They're chirping back and forth, though, still. Here's the thing. Everybody's having a good time today. We're out here in Vegas. Hard, hard not to have a good time in Vegas. And then the level of production, the level of competition, the level of company, the level of camaraderie and brotherhood here. I mean, you cannot help but have a good time. Fourth and 11 here. Dubby brings, brings the offense back out, making those adjustments. Jeffrey in motion here to the inside. I call, I call this a throw, throw the towel play. If the Dubby don't get this, just throw the towel in. Plenty of time. Skim back in coverage. Might have a guy. Oh, man. Unable to bring it in. I thought we got the one-handed catch animation there from Jeffrey. Would have been big. Turnover on downs. <laughs> Look at the body <laughs> language. <laughs> <laughs> He's not leaning forward anymore. Oh, man. Throw the damn towel. <laughs> Turn the shirt inside out, bro. 24-yard line here for Skim. Flex on, him with the la flex on him with the Lazarus jersey, Skim. <laughs> Mahomes here, just going to run out the clock here, run up the middle. Plenty of room, though. I think Skim's going to try to score. Skim's going to try to beat him by 24. 
He's going to make sure that there is, if, if there was a rule to keep all the money, that he's going to get it, just in case. I think he's going to try to beat him by, by the 24. And, uh, you know, that, you got, that's good bragging rights. Anytime Dubby starts chirping like he likes to do, you can just say, dude, I just beat you by 24 for the for the rack of rules. Yo, any material that Skim can get before the end of the evening tonight for the time that probably we're going to go out and have in the city tonight, any ammo that Skim can <laughs> add, he's going to do it right now. And, uh, you know, oh, my go. Lord. And you know what's been cool um, before we get to the end of this game is being here with Skim and the rest of the guys, there's been situations where people are recognizing these guys. They're showing them a lot of love. A lot of just Madden fans developing them out there that you just see, you know, coming out here. You don't expect it. And I think that's really cool. It just shows the level these guys are getting at is, yeah, Skim, well, this is, you should just give Skim the whole five racks. Look at that little touchdown montage, too. Oh, They've been showing the that. Montage. We haven't paid tribute to that yet, but that is swaggy right there, man. There's that touchdown dance. The guys were telling us, be on the lookout for our touchdown dances uh, tomorrow. So there is Skims. we got to get that in the a, game. Yeah, with my guys at the MCS, I hope, I hope we're paying attention. We might need to bite the swag. I love the <laughs> touchdown dance. Graphic at the end right there. That is super swaggy. Between the montages and the story heading, the Skimbo's hometown with the interview, seeing the kids there. Uh, good, great show today, guys. Absolutely great show. This is going to be it. Yeah, guys, this is it here. This one's in the bag. We got Skimbo. Going to take this one home. Going to take home the four grand right off the bat here. Great start for Skim. I don't know what's more impressive, Skim, with the you know 24-point victory, getting the four grand. Our Dubby still making a grand, even though he got the break speed off him by that many points. <laughs> I mean, if I if I can get the break speed off of me, which I do mostly in Madden, and take home uh, a grand, I'm gonna do that and be happy all day. <laughs> Dub getting swaggy with the, the hurdle animation there. Great game here by these two competitors. Great friends. The sportsmanship obviously there between two great friends here. Skimbo wins, defeats Dubby 14 to 17. Here from your first game at WSOE from the Rio in Las Vegas. So what do you think, man? What uh, would pretty much as delivered, right? As promised. Yeah, absolutely. I think with uh, Skimbo, you saw he, he is in tournament mode. That wasn't just a win. That was a very convincing win. And if you're W, you got to think about what you're going to do to clean that up because you don't want to walk away going out of here 0-3. Guys, we're going to have this graphic and follow along with this graphic all day, showing everybody's records and their total earnings for the day. Again, no belts today, just bread, just bragging rights for four of the biggest competitors in Madden. Guys, let's throw it out to Fallout, uh, who has got Skimbo on the mic. Thanks so much, guys. Joined here with Skimbo, the man himself. Sorry, wrong camera here. Skimbo, the man himself, after a big win over his buddy. Of course, you were a close game in the first half. Of course, second half, things changed. What started working so well for you in the second half? Uh, the game got played a lot differently in the second half. It could have, the end of the first half really decided the game. If things go his way, he plays the game differently, probably beats me, but it went against him, so he tried to speed up, and I had some fortunate plays go my way. So I know you guys are good buddies. I know that extends past just the game itself. He called you a Pink Power Ranger, though. Your response to the Pink Power Ranger comment? Oh, that's just W. W talks a lot. No, it, honestly, I'll, I'll be real with real. I won't. I won't be fake right here. I love that W's bag. Uh, man, I missed him all year last year. I really needed him at events. I really needed W there for me last year. So I'm glad he said he's gonna play again. So it means the world to me that we get to do this event, WSOE, all this stuff. And uh, it's more than just matter with me. Like that's my guy right there. And I'm not gonna get too emotional. I'm just really glad he's back. I can see it. You can definitely tell what he means to you. The presence of Dubby is certainly felt. You get a win over him. Now you got Kiv and Problem coming up next. Of those two, anyone in particular you're targeting to beat? No, no, no. It's just, it's just having fun playing Madden versus these guys. Like I said, I got rivals versus every one of these guys. So I'll be happy when I win. I'll be bitter when I lose. But it is what it is. I'm, I'm having fun out here. And like I said, I'm just grateful for this event right now. Love to hear it. Spoken like a true professional is Skimbo. That's going to be it for us. We're going to jump to a quick break. When we come back, some more Madden Masters presented by WSOE. Don't go anywhere.